on today's episode of The Detours. Because I'm getting ready to experience my first mock extreme spinning roller coaster. It's a sit down restaurant, not an eating restaurant. You eat at a restaurant, obviously. Exactly. So why'd you say eating restaurant? I grayed out. Actually, no, hold on. I didn't grade. <laughs> Can I do it? I think I blacked out. <laughs> Welcome back to the detours for another fantastic episode. We have something very, very exciting in the store. We just landed here in Springfield, Missouri. Oh, you gotta say it with an accent like that. I just feel like it's fitting, right? Oh um, no, Springfield, Missouri. So yeah, we just landed in Springfield, Missouri. We were on the smallest airplane that I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh, I've seen smaller. There's no way. That was at 50 people. There's no way there are 50 people in that airplane. Yeah. My head, I had to duck getting in, in, in into the into the airplane. Like I was like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then <laughs> go. But anyways, yeah. So we're here in Springfield. So we are traveling to Silver Dollar City. We're going to Silver Dollar City. Yeah. <laughs> and I know what you're thinking. Like, why are you in Springfield? Well. We're driving to Branson. Yeah, we're about to rent a car and we're going to drive from Springfield to Branson because this was the closest airport that suited us. So yeah, in case you're wondering, there is another airport about an hour away from Silver Dollar City. So anyways, we're going to go rent the car. I don't know where you're going. Oh, I don't know where I'm going either. Do you know where you're going? No, but I'm gonna read the signs. Oh, okay. Yeah, this one. Okay. Uh -huh. But anyways, yeah, we're gonna go. Look, rental cars. Ooh. I think that might be the way. You sounded like, oh, what's the name? The Claw. It's the Claw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I did it better. <laughs> uh -huh. So, stick with us, because yes. we're here in Missouri. Missouri. Never Missouri. been. Missouri. And you've never been. I've to never been Silver to Dollar Silver Dollar City. City. So, and Branson's like, oh, sorry. <laughs> so. And Branson's like Pigeon Forge. That was really weird. That hurts you though. I smacked myself with the back. Mm -hmm. But anyway, we're here at Enterprise, which is closed. Huh? Huh. Oh, gonna, okay, well we need to figure that one out. We're gonna figure this out. Okay, bye. And we're gonna get the car, so bye. Join us. Get to work. You need to tip me. Bags in the car, please. You need to tip me. You're taking too long. Okay. I, You're getting a zero. Leave me alone. I'm about to throw your bags in. You won't. Okay. Anyway. Let me walk the car. Oh, <laughs> what? Okay, we're heading to Branson. Yay. Say something. Peace. here at Silver Dollar City in Branson, Missouri. This is a bucket list park of mine for years since I was a little kid. I'm very, very excited to be here. This park opened May 1st, 1960, so it is 63 years old. Isn't that crazy? 63, wow. Yeah, 63 okay. years old. This park is a part of the Hershen family. They also own Dollywood and Kentucky Kingdom. So I'm already coming into this with beautiful expectations and I know my expectations are gonna be blown out of the water. There are seven roller coasters that we're gonna to get to experience today, including the world famous Time Traveler, the first mock extreme spinner roller coaster to ever be built. The prototype is here. We're about to experience sideways airtime. Never had that. So I'm excited <laughs> to experience that. And yeah. spin while going upside down, right? And what's the roller coaster that's debuting soon that we're gonna be featuring today? We're really specifically Hopefully. also for here. For, for here, for it. Hopefully we get to experience it. It is not officially open to the public, but 
word on the street is they are going to be soft opening it. It is going to be the all new Fire in the Hole manufactured by RMC. RMC's first dark ride. So this will be really, really fun to be able to see. We can't wait to cover it as well as experience this beautiful park in the mountains, in the Ozark Mountains. Mm -hmm. How you feeling? Good, a little congested. So <laughs> forgive me guys, I'm actually fighting off a little cold as well. So if I sound a little, you know, <clears throat> deep, it's because of that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a great day here. The weather is nice. The altitude <sighs> isn't cooperating with me because I'm having a hard time breathing already. But you know, hey, I'm gonna power through it. It is not enough to keep me indoors. We're here and we're gonna do it. Yeah. Full day here at Silver Dollar City. So. Great episode coming for you guys. Stay tuned. Let's do it. Delacy, why is it that you look like you're a kid in a candy store right now? Because I'm getting ready to experience my first mock extreme spinning roller coaster. Really? This, yes. I'm telling you. have never ridden this before. Well, no, you've I've never, never been, been here, here before. No. But you've never ridden a roller coaster like this? No. Okay, so there's only two of these in the world. There's this one, which is Time Traveler, Silver Dollar City, and then Ride to Happiness in Plopsa Land. And remember I showed you the video of, of Ride to Happiness? The crazy one? That, that spins all over, all around, yeah. Yes, uh -huh. this is the first one of its, this was the prototype. So oh. this one is a little bit more tamer than the one in Propsaland because this one doesn't free spin like the one in, in, in Propsaland. This one has this magnetic disc that kind of keeps it from spinning out of control because you know, they were trying to figure out what they can do, what they could get away with, how they could push the limits. And then when they did the second version of this, they were like, Take the plate off, <laughs> let it spin. Wish they would have taken the plate off of this thing. But, well, yeah. you don't know. You've never experienced it. So you, you don't know how it feels. I say You're just about to experience sideways air time. Take the plate off and let it run. <laughs> Why not? All right, cool. So we're about to experience it moments away, and we'll let you know how it rides and all about it. Absolutely. All I'm right. excited. Two hours later. Hi, guys. All right. So last time we spoke, we were in line for Time Traveler. Unfortunately, they experienced some downtimes, two to be exact. The second one took like an hour and a half, so we stood there for a solid two hours. Two hours in line, didn't, we didn't even get a chance to ride it. So, and it's still closed. And it's still closed. God, I hope it opens back up. But they did give us some passes to come back and experience it later once it does open. So we're gonna keep this day going. We're not gonna let it dampen yes. our day. We're gonna continue to have fun and we are on our way to fire in the hole. So stay tuned for that. But Marvin, mm. outside of the downtimes, how do you feel about the park thus far? Like, how does it look to you? What do you, what do you think of the theming, the feel, the atmosphere? I feel like I'm in an episode of Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman. Who is that? It's a show that took place like in the 1800s in the wild, wild west kind of thing. Oh, yeah. I don't, don't know about Don't worry about it, that. hold on. We'll play the intro, Dr. Quinn, right here. Dr. Quinn? Hold on, stop. Dr. Quinn, cue. <laughs> That's Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman. Oh, really? Yeah. How's she doing? 
She's dead. She died. She died? No, no, no. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I cannot believe you just quoted Beauty Shop. But yes, anyway, I feel like I got transported to the 1800s and I'm in the wild, wild west. I'll be honest with you, I don't even know where I'm going. So, but yeah, we're gonna find fire in the home. This is a nice park. It is. It's a nice park. I just don't know where I'm going. <laughs> it's there's, there's no, no park maps. There's have no you park maps. That? Yeah, and you kind of just have to wander around yeah. and everything. But Which there's is a lot of cool. stuff to do. There's a lot of shops. Mm -hmm. So but, we'll show you all of this, obviously. But let's find fire in the hall. Yeah. And obviously, we're gonna bring that to you. All right. All right we're really excited. Stick with us. Day continues. Bye. <laughs> have set the whole town ablaze. Go! Patchet, I'm gonna take your hide. Chickens! Why those half-bit chickens? Wally, drop that dynamite or I'll have to shoot. Go ahead, Marshal. You couldn't hit the broad side of a barn. Ow! Get after those boat knobbers and stop that fire. Red Flanders? Get back here and put on your pants. I can't say that. your plot and now we're using your dynamite to blow up the water tower and put out the fire. Don't throw that switch! The train's coming that way! The tower's gonna blow! Fire! Thank you, heroes. We couldn't have caught those good-for-nothing ball knobbers without you. Give yourselves a big old pat on the back. You deserve it. And it'll also put out any stray sparks. So long. All right, guys, and we're back. We just got off the long-awaited and revamped new fire in the home because I didn't know that there was actually a previous fire in the home. Mm -hmm. But DeLacy tells me that there was a previous fire in the home. Yes, you this one, on the side of the park. Yeah, this one was done, redone by RMC. RMC. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the wait time was an hour and a half. Yeah, 90 minutes. 
90 minutes. So it is a family coaster. Mm -hmm. It's an indoor coaster. It's a dark ride as well. It's a dark ride. What are your thoughts, DeLacy? Okay, so it follows the same storyline as the original Fire in the Hole, which is excellent, amazing, great. For what Fire in the Hole was in the time period that it came, you know, to the park, phenomenal. Now, with that being said, this new version of it is ex pretty much the same ride. I didn't know I was going to get wet, though. At the, um, at the yeah. end, yeah. It has a little bit of a drop yeah. that gets you a little wet if you're in the front. Taking out the roller coaster aspect of it, because I, I already knew that it wasn't going to be like a thrilling thing. It's a family ride, dark ride roller coaster. I'm a little underwhelmed. And the reason why I say I'm a little underwhelmed is because I know that Silver Dollar City, this is the most expensive thing that they have spent money on. And, 30 million, right? And yeah, and 30 park's million. History, and for 30 million dollars, I feel like you could have done a little bit better yeah. on the animatronics, I guess. A lot of the animatronics the were static. Yeah. Um, a lot of projection mapping. Uh, the speakers were blown. Were blown out already. And it's brand new. Yeah. And I get it. And this is a soft open, so it's a technical rehearsal as you would say, so yeah. it's not officially open to the public. Mm -hmm. However, I just, I think that there could have been more to it. More effects, more elaborate show scenes. Like, it. don't get me wrong, it's nice. Mm -hmm. A great family ride, but it I'm a little... You it, yeah, it, it leaves you wanting more. It leaves you wanting more. You want and more. So, and so that being said, I yeah. think that obviously the most important thing is that we be honest with yeah. you guys. That's what we're here for. Exactly. It was a little underwhelming. Um, there were two small drops, and yeah. that was about it. I, mean, I that's wasn't how expecting. It was in the original yeah. One. yeah, and I wasn't expecting much, but they could have done a little bit better. It yeah. could have been a little bit better, honestly, yeah. uh, in regards to what you mentioned. So yeah. for me, I would say three, three out, out of five. five. Absolutely. Three and don't get five. me wrong; it is a great attraction to experience with the whole entire family. I, I wouldn't wait more than thirty minutes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pushing it down. Yeah, and an hour and a half, we waited an hour and a half. Yeah. And for an hour and a half and $30 million, there was more to be desired. Right. But that's just us. <laughs> All right, guys. So our day continues here at Silver, Silver Dollar, Dollar City. City. Stay tuned. Yes. And that was our review for Fire, Fire in the, the Hole. Hole. Bye. Bye. So we just got off of wildfire and whoa, that was a wild experience. This roller coaster is a B&M sit down or as he likes to call it, Bollinger and Malbatos. <laughs> Bollinger and Malbatos. But anyways, what I first do. and foremost, this roller coaster has the most beautiful background. 
like the mountains. It's it's you literally walk out onto like a, a deck and see. Hold on, let me pan up. That's the roller coaster right there. It's so pretty. Like it really is. I think that this is one of the most beautiful roller coasters I've ever seen. And here it comes. Whoa, look and that, there it goes. Look at that cobra roll. That's a cobra roll. That's cool. Okay, I grayed out. Actually, no, hold on. I didn't gray out. <laughs> Can I do it? I think I blacked out. Usually I'm the one that grays out. And he's the he I look over, he's, he's like, what? <laughs> and I'm like, you good? <laughs> I came back, I was like, he yeah, died. <laughs> <laughs> Why you got a cool barbershop? Now you got nine. Beauty shop. Beauty shop. Don't do yeah. Queen Latifah like that. That was funny. Anyways, yes. this was a fantastic roller coaster. Butter smooth. Operations were fluent. The staff were amazing. The theming is on par. Mm -hmm. I have to be honest. And that first drop. Ooh. We were in the back row, I was like, too. okay, here we go. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, and drop. Yes. I have to really give smooth. this a... Five, five out of five. One hundred percent. Five out of five from the re detours. Yes. Yeah, I can't even talk. <laughs> from the from the detours. Yeah, I know. yeah. Because this ride sure did eat you. <laughs> yeah, it got me. It got me. <laughs> so, uh, when was it made, by the way? What year? Do Shoot, you know? I don't remember. No. Well, if you know, put it yeah, in the put comments. Put it in the comments. And let me know. I know it's early two thousands. Yeah. Yeah. But it's really smooth it's for it being so twenty, smooth. maybe twenty years old. And we were in the back. Yes. So. But yes, five out of five, Woo. and our day continues here at Silver Dollar City. Stay tuned, let's, let's go. I have to tell you, this park is so beautiful. I mean, you could just get lost in here and find the most pretty places. Like, look at this. It's a little eating area. What a beautiful waterfall with the water. And you can eat with a view. Gotta love it. Okay, Silver Dollar City is so pretty, man. What? I said Silver Dollar City is so pretty. It is. It is so beautiful. I, I, I was walking that way and I'm like, oh my God, look, a waterfall. That's what I saw, yeah. But that's an eating restaurant. Uh-huh. That's an so eating restaurant? Of yeah. course you eat at a restaurant. What are you going to do at a restaurant? Eat. The, you said eating restaurant. Because it's you eat at restaurant. the restaurant. It's a sit-down restaurant. Potato, potato, okay? Yeah. Slow. Uh, you can't see that. Slightly slow. Y'all see what I be going through? It's the truth. Who says it's an eating restaurant? It's a sit-down restaurant, not an eating restaurant. You eat at a restaurant, obviously. Exactly. So why'd you say eating restaurant? It's redundant. Is it not an eating establishment? Yeah, but you don't have to say eating. It's a restaurant. Anyway. What? We anyway. was talking about the park and how beautiful it is. Yeah, and then you said eating restaurant, then I got distracted. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, okay, I think we're going to try to find Powder Keg and ride Powder Keg. Yeah. Because that looks like a lot of fun. Time, time Traveler is still down. It's still down. That makes me nervous. Turn back time. Uh uh. What? Let them sing it. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. Gotta go. Bye. Bye. Look at her. Ciao. <laughs> just got off of powder keg and i have to tell you that is the coolest launch man i i i don't think i've ever experienced an air-powered launch hold on, on a, there it goes oh yeah let's watch is. it launch oh i'm gonna say in like three two it rolls oh, back a little bit off. yeah you're okay, way here off. we go one go two. Mm. 
Okay, so yes, that is cool. That's a powerful we've experienced, launch. We've experienced air launches on stationary rides. Drop towers. Drop the towers. SNS drop towers. Yeah. This one, though, the fact that they use it to launch you, it was pretty cool. It was yes. really, really smooth as well. Very smooth. It kind of goes down the mountain and then has a couple airtime hills. It's really fast. And it has a second uh, uh, um, lift. climb, lift, right? Yep. Second lift, yeah. And then you drop and then you do a couple little curves and turns and then you end up back into the station. It was really, really good. It's a great experience. I and also, it. the fact that you get on it and then it moves you over to the track and it yeah. aligns that was actually pretty cool to watch it has a transfer so i really enjoyed it yeah yeah and it used to be a water ride which is crazy this used to be a water ride yeah you you didn't you, you probably wouldn't have paid attention but you can see where the track changes to a completely different track oh really yeah but with the air launch used to be a, a no, no, no. Uh, it was just oh. a water coaster type ride oh got it you got haven't it. been on one of those before okay but SNS came and turned the whole thing into a roller coaster. Okay. Yeah. So cool. now we have powder keg. Uh, I'm going to say five, five out, out of five. five. Absolutely. Yeah. Five out of five rating from the Detours guys. Yeah. We really enjoyed it. it and a lot of I don't fun. know how old it is, but it was really smooth. Yes. Honestly, we really enjoyed it. Very. They're taking care of their roller coasters. Yeah. We've yeah. noticed. So. All right. So our day continues here at Silver Dollar City. We're going to get some food because yes. we're starving. And of course, we'll talk to you. I'm starving all about like that. Marvin. Bye. Okay guys, so unfortunately we had some technical difficulties with a video of Outlaw Run. So we thought we'd do a voiceover covering this amazing ride. All right, first and foremost, Outlaw Run is the first Rocky Mountain construction ground up roller coaster to be built. And I have to tell you, it was relentless from start to finish. That first drop is insane. Mm -hmm. The airtime is insane. The speed, the way that it takes that course, it doesn't let up. Even from just leaving the bay, it just grabs you and takes a hold of you. Now, what type of uh, roller coaster is Outlaw Run? Topper track, but we'll get back to that further along in the video. Mm -hmm. So what did you like about this uh, roller coaster in itself that is makes it different from other coasters? One, it just gets lost in the woods. It's yeah. hard to find off-ride POV because this thing just disappears after the first drop. But the way that it takes that course, when you come off of that first drop and you hit that half barrel roll and it just flings you to the left and it's just bounce, bounce the whole time. And then the double barrel roll at the end coming into the brakes is so good. Yeah, yeah, it really is. So for us, uh, what would we rate it? Oh, I'd say this definitely deserves a five, five out, out of five. five. 100%. Okay amazing all right so that's a five out of five from the detours and unfortunately like we said we lost the video that we did at silver dollar city but stay tuned hope you're enjoying the video we're putting a lot of work into this so continue watching all right bye <laughs>
Okay guys, so we ran over here and finally got to ride Time Traveler. Oh. Have to tell you, it is amazing. It, was it so honestly good. is amazing. It's so good. The theming is so great. Oh it is so God. smooth. And I've never ridden a roller coaster backwards while going sideways. I I mean, wow. I have been looking forward to riding this for years since the grand opening of it when it opened a couple years ago. And to finally be able to ride it and experience what everybody has been saying it feels like. Let me tell you. There is no other roller coaster that makes you feel the way that I felt. I've never felt this on a roller coaster before. Like we literally came out the station and we're like turning and then we dropped 90 degrees and we're sideways and then we ended up forward and then we're going upside down backwards and then there's two launches at that like it yeah. stops in the middle and you're like oh we were like oh did it just stop again yeah and then it launches and it just you again takes off while sideways spinning. yeah while we, spinning. we launched sideways yeah so that being said here's the drawback and you guys know me i'm usually pretty fair with the rating system that we have so because of the whole two delays that we had earlier today when we first yeah. got here we lost two hours of our day and it has been because closed of all that day. and it has been closed all day it just opened on the last yeah. hour of the park okay for me there was no way that i could give it anything higher than a four because <laughs> one that's a one point deducted for um uh for being, you know, for downtime. But and hey, all wait, that. can I ask However, you a hold on, hold on. However, here's the killer about it. Once you ride it, it makes up for it. Because there's no other roller coaster like it here in the US. The nearest one is in Germany, right? The Plopsa Land. Plopsa Land, okay. And on top of that, they recovered it by giving us a. Uh, 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 um, trailblazer. A, pass. a trailblazer pass, okay? So now. Can I ask you a question? Be go. You know how when we're in school and, you know, at the end of the semester, the teacher gives us the opportunity to make extra credit? Yeah. I think there could be some extra credit points awarded here, wouldn't you have to say? Yes. Because of the fact that it is beautifully themed, it goes... There's no other roller coaster like it in the U.S., guys. So, that being said, I will say this... <laughs> I wish it would have been up most of the day, but you know what? Maybe they're having an off day. So I'm gonna go ahead and give them the benefit of the doubt. I'm gonna give them that extra credit. With that being said, aside, we're gonna throw away the fact that it was down for most of the day and the fact that we waited two hours. So we've come to the conclusion and Silver Dollar City, you, you have, have a diamond. diamond. Yeah, you have a diamond here well with deserved. Time Traveler. Very well deserved, it's fantastic. And that being said, we're done rambling because I'm sure you guys are tired of that. So we're going to go get some cinnamon bread and probably take it to the hotel because we're 30 minutes away from closing time. Tomorrow we'll be back with a little bit more and tomorrow we'll give you the rating of the park. Stick with us. Day continues. Actually, tomorrow continues. It continues tomorrow here with the detours at Silver Dollar City. Yes. The next day. Good morning, y'all. Welcome back for day two here at Silver Dollar City. It's a... It was hard to wake up this morning. <laughs> Tell me about it. But we got our coffee with our extra shots of espresso. It's a good day. It's a good day. And, and the parking lot doesn't seem as crowded as it was yesterday because yesterday was packed. Lord. Have but it's mercy. also spring break. Yeah, it is. So, yeah. But I'm excited. I am excited to redo all of these fantastic rides. What's your favorite ride so far? Time Traveler. Time Traveler? Time Traveler, and what was the name of the one with the W? Um, the one that overlooks the mountains? What was it? The W. Uh, oh, Wildfire. Yeah, Wildfire. Wildfire. Those are my two favorite ones. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, my two favorites are <laughs> Time Traveler and Outlaw Run. Yeah? I loved Outlaw Run. But you know, I love wooden roller coasters. Yeah, yeah. I have such an appreciation for wooden roller coasters because, like, that rattly and just it, it's so it's aggressive but it's fun i like being thrown around talk about <laughs> aggressive this hill is aggressive okay oh, i'm gonna work out okay we, this coffee. whole park let me tell you something when you guys come here make sure you're prepared because you're going to be going up and downhill 
a lot. Yeah. And Ooh. I'm partly stuffy, so excuse me if I sound like I just hit puberty. He has the suds. Yeah. <laughs> but we're doing it. So yeah, we are. Day two and this video continues here at Silver Dollar City. You really do sound like you're out of breath. Right? <laughs> you yeah. love I know, I know. <laughs> I need a minute. Okay. Cool. All right. Nice stick with us, guys. Park. More of this beautiful park here on the Detours. Yay. Gonna do? I'm about to play Jeopardy in Silver Dollar City. Go for it. Okay, I'm gonna figure out what my fortune is. Oh, yeah. Alright, move it, move it, move it, move it, move it, move it, move it. Let's see what you get. Are you dancing? Give me one margarita. I'm on. Hey! <laughs> you love that song. I do. Alright, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Get out this of the way. This is my fortune. I know, but get out of the way so I can film and the viewers can see what you actually got. No, they can't know that neither one come true. Take a sign painter to lunch. Do it today. A who? A sign painter. Why? Find a sign painter. Where am I find a sign painter at Silver Dollar City? I know, but the wheel says do it today. Okay, do when it you spin today. it, I want to see what your fortune is. A sign painter? Isn't that like an actual painter? A person who paints signs. Oh, oh okay. I'll find you. Let's see. Is it gonna stop? That was a girthy spin you I did. I know. Hey. I'll work out. Yeah. <laughs> smile. Let the world wonder what you're up to. No, I don't like to smile. Smile. I'm not paid enough for that. Smile. No, I don't want to. I'm Batman. I have a reputation to protect. You can't do that. I only do that. I'm Batman. See, how can I smile when you're doing? That's my line. That's my line. Oh, hush. so I have a reputation to maintain. So I don't want to smile. No. Okay. You know, you got an egg head. I just realized that. It, it is. It's in the shape of an egg. Y'all remember? <laughs> okay. Ooh. I'm not going to be mean to you because the viewers are here. Uh huh. As soon as we cut, I'm going to rip you a new one. Uh -huh. oh, hold on. And cut. Oh, uh -huh. 
shake your fist at those two and call them ugly. So we just hightailed it to Outlaw Run. And like we were talking about earlier with Outlaw Run, it's a solid wooden coaster. Absolutely. But what were you telling me exactly why it's so smooth? Why is it so smooth? It's topper track. Okay, so, so what exactly is topper track? And guys, Professor DeLacy is now in session, class is in session. So he's gonna tell us what exactly is a topper track. What's exactly a topper track? So it's basically- Get in the frame. There you go. Basically, the top layer is wooden. The bottom layer is wooden. The bottom layer also has three extra pieces of wood. Um, and then the middle part of it, <clears throat> where the guide wheels are, has a steel plate. Mm -hmm. That's how they're able to bend it and make it do a lot of things that normal wooden roller coasters wouldn't actually be able to do. But it also makes it a lot smoother, oh. easier to maintain. Like, I mean, you can tell it's definitely aging, mm -hmm. which it's not that old, but at the same time, think about all the other wooden roller coasters that we have. And all the other wooden roller coasters I've written, they don't invert with those like double cobra rolls and double barrel, double barrel rolls, sorry, <laughs> uh, double barrel rolls and, uh, you know, those upside down kind of thing, you know, yeah. they don't, but this one does. Yeah. That was cool. It's really good. Yeah. Oh my, I love Outlaw Run. It's short, sweet, but to the point. Mm -hmm. And it packs such a, oh my God. Yeah. The yeah. air time is insane. And we already rated it, so yeah. obviously we're not going to rate it again. But the park is pretty empty. I mean, it's early in the morning. Yeah. Literally, 15 minutes in, we hightailed it to Outlaw Run and already rode it. So yep. now, we're going to do more of this park and we're going to ride Time Traveler again, again because it's a good coaster. It's so good. And it's a diamond recipient. Oh, yes. Yeah. All yeah. right, guys. Let's go.
right, guys, so welcome back. We just got off of Thunderation, Silver Dollar City's Aerodynamics Mine Train Roller Coaster. And I have to be honest, for, I mean, y'all know mine trains, they're fun, you know, but most of them are like, you know, short and whatever. This one was long. And I love how it just picks up its momentum coming out of the station. Like you don't go up a traditional lift right away. It works its way down the mountain. She's she was moving. She was moving for a little mine train. Mm -hmm. A little raggedy in some parts, but we rode in the back of the yeah, yeah. But not terrible. And then it goes up the lift to kind of bring you back up to the top of the mountain. And then we were at the point where we were like, oh, okay, it ain't gonna be that bad. And we look and we're like, oh my God, that's a big drop for a kid's yeah. roller coaster. It has a lift uh, mid ride. And, yeah, in the yeah. mid, yeah, because it's gotta bring you back up the mountain. Mm -hmm. But all in all, it was a lot of fun. It was. I, it was a little shaky. We was jiggling like jello. Like and I'm thinking, uh, maybe <laughs> I didn't, maybe I shouldn't have rode it in the back, but I did because he likes riding it, you know, in the back. So I'm like, meh, why all not? All coaster enthusiasts know the back is where it's at. On some rides. On other rides, the front is better. So we could debate about that. Uh, rating, I would say four, four out of five. five. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's a great family roller coaster. Uh, it's something that the kids would love. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, the girl getting on, how about that go again? Yeah. And they're yeah. like, not in line too long. <laughs> yeah. No, but Thunderation, th Thunderation, I want to keep saying Thunder Nation. I don't know why. But Thunderation, yeah, it's good. It's yeah. good. Good family coaster, and we enjoyed it. I en thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah. While we're here, hmm. we forgot to tell you guys <laughs> about the cinnamon, cinnamon bread. bread. So we got it right before park closed, and we're like, okay, we're going to get back to the hotel, and we're going to review it and all that stuff. And but then we got so tired, and we yeah, didn't eat the cinnamon bread. Literally. But we had it for breakfast with our coffee, and... Oh God! If you come, look, guys. If you guys come to Silver Dollar City or you guys go to Dollywood, it's a Hershen thing, right? Yeah, it's a Hershen thing. Yeah. So if you go to any of the Hershen parks of those two, I think. It, well, it started get, at Dollywood. Yeah. And then, get you yourself know. that cinnamon bread. I'll I be honest with you. I Kentucky Kingdom too. I think it was better here than maybe at Dollywood. Really? Well, no. Yeah. I don't know. Oh. Because I, they pre-cut it. Mean, it tastes it. the same. No, but the thing about it is they pre-cut the cinnamon bread. And so it was easier to tear off, whereas at Dollywood, they don't pre-cut it. You know, you kind of have yeah. to tear it and all it that was, stuff, more like a oof, savage. And so trust me, the way we were eating it, we were attacking it. Tearing it up. It. I we was like, attacking. okay, maybe we will make it back to Houston with, you know, That's cinnamon like bread. Happened. Child, it's only two pieces left. Mm -hmm. We tore it up this morning in the car yeah. on the way, drinking our coffee. But <laughs> get you some cinnamon bread. Please. Ride, th ride thunder Thunderation mm -hmm. and more rides, more of this beautiful park in just a few minutes. Yes. Stick with us. Roger over here on the grill, cooking us lunch. Okay guys, well we just finished eating here at Wagon Works Grill and 
What I loved about it was the fact that they were actually making the burgers fresh on the grill. Mm-hmm. And we show, we'll show you footage on that, but really, really good. Yes. You know, he was putting on a little show, so, yeah. Uh, we got the All-American, mm-hmm. which comes with a burger, fries, and an apple pie. Mm-hmm. So, had that. Pretty good. Needs a little seasoning, but, you know. Bring your lorries or your adobo. Which yeah, you know, exactly. Today. But with that being said, this brings us to the end of our tour here at uh, Silver Dollar City, Ransom, Missouri. Um, what did you think of the park? This is a great park. Beautiful. I mean, the setting is so beautiful with the roller coasters and the mountains in the background. I mean, look at wildfire. With yeah. that setting over the Ozark Mountains. The actual park itself, the theming is beautiful. It transports you back into the Wild West. Uh, even the team members are dressed just like they're in the Wild West. The theming aspect of the park is amazing. And most importantly, the roller coasters are out of this world, honestly. Yeah. Quality yeah. over quantity. There's only like seven roller coasters, but what they do have here, phenomenal. You have a little bit of everything from mm-hmm. time traveler to outlaw run to powder keg you have so many things that there's to do at this park so that being said we also have to be completely transparent with you guys that's what we're here time traveler did go down again today but it only went down for about 15 20 minutes we also kind of understand it because it is a prototype roller coaster so it does get glitchy from time to time they recovered nicely though and we rode it so we're not going to recant the uh, diamond that we gave it. Yeah, we can't because that back row ride. Oh but my gosh. We do have to be transparent, you know. If you do come to Silver Dollar City, be prepared. It may go glitchy a couple of times and everything, but overall, phenomenal coaster. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's also a lot of shopping. So if you do come, bring your wallet and also not only bring your wallet, but also bring your walking shoes because you're going to be climbing some hills. There's a so lot if you need of assistance hills. or disabilities or anything like that, they're very good at accommodating that. You can actually rent a uh, scooter, scooters and mm-hmm. so on and so forth. Yeah. We thoroughly enjoyed Branson. We thoroughly enjoyed Silver Dollar City. Mm-hmm. Actually, also, they have a little strip where we were yeah. staying. Of uh, museums. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We actually did the Titanic Museum as well, which was fantastic. And I haven't seen the Titanic, so it was really cool. The movie. Though. Yeah, he hasn't seen the Titanic movie. So um, we're definitely going to watch that. Yeah. So <laughs> it makes a little bit more sense and all that. But for a history buff, you know, that was a great experience. Yes. Silver Dollar City, fantastic. Mm-hmm. Make your way over here. Uh, the people are very, very accommodating, mm-hmm. very sweet. And it's a theme park that literally is surrounded by nature. So, oh my God, yes. with that being said, what would we rate it? I say four, four out of five. five. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Four out of five. This is definitely a must-do park. You can make a whole little two, three-day trip out of this. From not only Silver Dollar City, but the attractions on the Strip and Branson. Everything is very close together. You will have a great time coming here. It's something to bring the family to do, and even for the thrill seekers, come here and get your coaster credits because there are some really good ones. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So that being said, guys, do us a favor: yes. like, comment, share, and subscribe our Please. channel. <laughs> at this recording, we're almost at a thousand, and that's all because of you guys. Yes. Do us a favor: just leave us a quick comment, an emoji, a heart, something, whatever it may be. You know, K. Leave us that. It helps us with the YouTube uh, uh, YouTube algorithm, honestly. And I would also like to say and send a very special thank you to not only all of you, but to Marvin, our creative director, <laughs> who has come on board and has really helped make this channel grow. We appreciate you. Oh, thank you. But it's not. It's a team effort, honestly. You um, started this channel a year ago. I was lucky enough to come aboard four months ago, and, excuse me, I had ice on my mouth, (laughs) (laughs) and I couldn't talk, but the most important thing is, when DeLacy started, he was at 300 subscribers. We're now almost at 1,000 in a period of four months, and that's all because of you guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'm lucky to be a part of the detours, and there's a lot more stuff coming up. There's going to be... Uh, the Detours Deconstructed, where we're going to be covering the rating system on theme parks. 
and also roller coasters. We have a very big surprise coming. <laughs> Shall we drop it or no? No, let's not drop no, it. Okay. Let's not drop no, no, no. it. No. There's a big, big surprise coming for you guys, the viewers, that DeLacy was lucky enough to get for us, and kudos to you. We'll talk about it more whenever that video premieres. I'm so excited. But it's fantastic. Let's so, just say... That being said... Mm -hmm. We've done a lot for what we're about to go and see the behind the scenes of. That's what I was saying. Yeah, yeah. But we're de leaving it there. Yep. No more hints. Nope. And guys, uh, please, you know, continue supporting us. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. That does it for our episode of Silver Dollar City here yes. in Branson, Missouri. And All don't right? forget to get the cinnamon bread. If you come here and you don't get that cinnamon bread, we're going to have a problem. Because <laughs> you don't. Missed it. All right. All right, guys. That's get all the for apple now. Butter. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the apple butter. You gotta get the apple all right. Butter. Well, that's all for now, guys. We won't keep you. Thank you again for watching, and we'll see you next time on another episode of The Detours. Here lies the Marvin in his natural habitat, trying to get the shot. <laughs> Oi, the natural Marvin in his habitat, feasting upon his, or in channeling his inner cinematography. Huh? <laughs> you are not mocking me, I'm shooting. I'm working, what I are you doing? I caught you in your natural habitat. I'm shooting, I'm making sure that the video looks good. By the way, whenever the videos come out and you see those beautiful shots where we pan across this or come up from there or come down from this, that's all me. Yes. No, um, it is not all him. Yes, it is. Give me my credit, because I be shooting too. Don't act like I don't. Oh, yeah. Peace and hair grease. Ciao for now.